Yes, that really is as fun and as satisfying as it looks. So what you're seeing here is some brand new footage from the map Lubko Pass. And this is part of the In the Name of the Tsar DLC for Battlefield 1, which is releasing in September. Now, fortunately, I actually got to play this at EA Play along with a lot of other YouTubers, Twitch streamers, content creators and community members. And we got to play for around like three hours or so on Conquest Large. We didn't get to play the new game mode, though, Supply Drop. I think they're kind of keeping that under wraps still. But this is Conquest on Lubkow Pass. And there's all sorts of new weapons that you're going to see in this video as well. We're getting 11 new weapons in total in this DLC. And those are as following for the Assault Class, the Model 1900 Factory and Model 1900 Slug. That's this double barrel shotgun thing. It's an absolute beast, as you would expect. At close range and even at medium range you can get a few lucky kills with it sometimes if people are on low HP apparently as well you can actually fire off both barrels at the same time by right clicking but I didn't know that when I was playing at the event and some people just kind of said that so I don't have any footage of it but as you can see it's an absolute beast sounds amazing and the reload is very spectacular and then we've got the Nagant revolver that's just a pretty standard secondary in my opinion nothing to shout about and the most interesting weapon I think from this DLC is the Fedorov Aftermath and that comes in two versions for the medic class the trench and the optical and I had so much fun with this gun it's kind of like an assault rifle it reminds me a lot of the Ribe Roll from the French DLC just kind of short to medium range at long range the recoil gets really really nasty on it but short range you can just full auto hit fire this thing and it's got like 26 rounds in the magazine so you've got a lot to play with there i think this is going to be a fan favorite for the medic class simply because it's the first of its kind in the medic class i think mostly they just get like the semi-automatic guns but this one is very interesting i don't have exact damage stats for it but it seemed to pack a big punch at close range medium range and then like i said long range because of the recoil you weren't really gonna do much I absolutely loved this gun. The only thing I would say about it though is the size it takes up when you aim down the sight because it's just so big. So maybe, you know, this is still work in progress and it's not supposed to take up that much space when you ADS, but we'll see how that develops. The Scout class gets the Mosin Nagant M91 and that comes in two variants, just like all the others. We've got infantry and marksman. Didn't play around with this one that much, to be honest with you, and it just seemed kind of average, like average damage, average cycle time, velocity. Didn't get the stats, so I don't know the sweet spot. So I can't really comment on where this sniper rifle fits in the scout class, what it's going to be kind of better than and against at certain distances. But there it is. I do have a few clips just so you can see it and the reload animations. And then for support, we've got a mental fast firing light machine gun called the Parabellum MG14-17 and that comes in the standard version and also the suppressive version and I didn't really get much chance to play around with this but I found it very good at close range simply because of the rate of fire there's a lot of recall over medium to long range with it so obviously going prone will help a lot here and I think this gun is going to be very useful against airplanes that are swooping in to bomb you you can just absolutely chunk them when they come in and it managed to hold its own against assault players and medic players alike 
and then this one is the C93 Carbine Suppressed and if I'm correct I think this is the only suppressed weapon in the multiplayer game at the moment. There is some in the single player but in the multiplayer this is the only one right now and I think you can only get this for the pilot and maybe the tanker classes. I didn't manage to actually get a kill with it when I was recording because I was more focused on the main four class weapons and it really didn't seem to put out that much damage but you know what it's cool to have a suppressed weapon in the game. And weapon number 11 I think is probably a melee weapon although I'm not sure what it's called because I didn't select it so just going back to the horses and the lance for a second it's just incredibly cool you've got the normal attack on mouse one when you're just riding along but you've also got a charge attack on mouse two and it's kind of like a bayonet charge but for a horse and if you manage to hit someone with it you impale them and it picks them up and then at the end of the animation throws them off the spear it is incredibly fun to gallop around and do that to people looks cool sounds amazing the screams of your victims on the end of the cavalry line when you hit them incredible I honestly think it's the best thing that's come to Battlefield 1 since the launch because it's just so damn fun and there were rumors as well that they're going to have it so you can impale two people so if you line two people up you'll be able to get both of them on the end of your spear I think that's just a work in progress so I don't know if that will actually make it to the game but if it does then yes sign me up for some kebabs the only disappointment about this from my perspective is that you can't throw the damn thing and the map itself love cow pass well you know what I really really enjoyed it it reminded me of a BF2 map just because of the the size of it it was really big lots of distance between each flag as well and loads of cover with trenches crevasses hillsides and rocks that you can use as cover you weren't getting dominated by vehicles all the time planes only seem to be the real trouble but it played very well like I said we were on it for around three hours and I don't think anyone got bored we were all having an absolute blast with it and visually of course the snow looks amazing I'm not sure if the snow actually builds up I felt like it did in a couple of places but I'll have to get a dice dev or maybe battlefield community manager to confirm that it just kind of looks like sometimes it might build up although I'm not 100% sure so I think it's a great map fantastic first impression of the in the name of the Sard DLC and I'm hoping that they can keep up this level of quality for the other five maps that are coming with this DLC because it's actually going to release with six maps in total which I think is great the only downside of course is that we have to wait till September to get our hands on this which I think is absolutely crazy but I suppose that's just the way things have transpired here but I'll definitely be looking forward to it and playing it a lot when it comes out so I think that's my first impressions of this map and the new DLC covered really let me know what you think down in the comments below guys I've got quite a bit of footage so I'm just gonna let it play out because there's some really cool and interesting stuff in here and a lot of you guys will just want to see the new gameplay on the map and the weapons without me waffling over the top of it so I'm gonna let that roll out now if you enjoyed the video guys give me a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down thanks for watching sit back relax and enjoy Вот патроны. Это тебе. Боеприпасы. Это тебе. Здесь враги! 
Вижу пулемет! Это тебе! Патроны! Налетай! Я тебя заштопаю! Тебя подлечить? Ранили? Я тебе помогу! Ранен? Я тебя подлатаю! Спасибо, солдат! Я тебе помогу! Пользуй толком! Спасибо! Аптечка! Спасибо! Я тебя подлатаю!
Charlie. We have taken objective Freddy. Ранили. Я тебе помогу. Objective Charlie. Let's get started. Let's go. 